Osaka. It is today a metropolis and the hub of administrative, political, and cultural activities of Western Japan. In its suburbs are concentrated a great number of mounded tombs called Kofun. This is the Mozu Furuichi Kofun Group, a World Heritage Candidate property nominated by the State Party of Japan for UNESCO World Heritage status. At the center of the Japanese archipelago, In the southern part of the Osaka Plain is the Mozu area, situated near the Osaka Bay, which was a gateway for exchange with the East Asian powers of the time. The Furuichi area is 10 kilometers to the east of Mozu. In these two areas, there are 49 kofun of different sizes and shapes within 45 sites. They were built between the late 4th century and the late 5th century. The keyhole-shaped kofun of overwhelming size at the center of the Mozu area is the Nintoku Tennoryo kofun. It was built in the early 5th century. The mound measures 486 meters in length. This is the largest kofun in Japan and one of the most massive tombs in the world. More than 10 satellite tombs surround it. They are believed to be close relatives and important retainers of the individual buried in the large one. There are more tombs of various sizes concentrated here. In the Furuichi area are Ojin Tennoryo Kofun, the second largest in Japan, and many other tombs. The period between the mid-3rd century and late 6th century in Japan is called the Kofun period, during which an ancient kingly power was in its formation process. Kofun are the burial mounds of kings and other elites of ancient Japan. More than 160,000 were built across a wide area of the Japanese archipelago. The tombs belonging to the Mozu Furuichi group come in four shapes, keyhole, scallop, square, and round. Keyhole-shaped tombs are the largest of the four shapes. A round mound and a square mound join together to form a keyhole. Such an extremely complex and distinctive design is unique to Japan. In the Mozu Furuichi Kofun group, the largest keyhole-shaped tombs in the archipelago are considered to belong to successive kings, with many other kofuns surrounding them. This tomb group is positioned at the center of the archipelago-wide kofun building phenomenon and is the clearest example of the king's authority and influence. The original shape of the earthen mounds can be accurately recognized by using modern digital survey technology. Now, let's take a look at how the kofun were made based on survey results from multiple kofun. The earth around the site was piled to form a three-tiered mound. The sloping sides of the mound were covered with stones for decoration, as well as for preventing soil erosion. Cylindrical haniwa, or clay figures, were lined up. Those on Nintoku Tennoryo Kofun are estimated to number as many as 29,000. In the round section, a stone chamber for the king's coffin was built in a pit excavated from above. 
It is believed that an extravagant funerary ritual took place on the mound. Once completed, the stone chamber was sealed and Haniwa were placed over the mound. It is estimated to have taken 15 years and 8 months to build Nintoku Tennoryo Kofun, with up to 2,000 people working every day, equaling 6.8 million days of labor. Many artifacts have been unearthed at Kofun sites. These abundant burial artifacts also testify that the area was a gateway for East Asian maritime exchange, where people had opportunities to mingle with visitors from continental East Asia. Mozu Furuichi Kofun Group is well protected and managed by the national and local governments, as well as other entities. Buffer zones are established around the Kofun Group in order to create a unique townscape which exists in harmony with the Kofun. The Mozu Furuichi Kofun Group is a testimony to the culture of the Kofun period and a representation of the Kofun burial mound type unique to the Japanese archipelago.